Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics, we are big in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you today, we are going to be installing the Demon and Angel mod, this has animated wings, pretty much, here goes a few screenshots of the wings, now with this, this is a script, and this one is created by Silk Team, shout out to the creator, this will be a script where um, it will allow you to spawn the wings. But in order to have the wings, you will need to install the wing add-on pack. It's going to be right here in the pinned comment from the author. The first link that he has right here for the wing add-on pack will lead you to this page, add-on wings pack for animated wings. This one is created by the Darth Knight. Shout out to the creator. When you get here, you want to also read the full description. Come here, select the green arrow to download. And back on the very first um, download page, the Demon and Angel mod page, which is the script, you want to also come down and select the Wing Texture Pack. Wing Texture Pack. This is the second link right here. When you select this, it will lead you here to this page, which is the Demon and Angel Wings Retexture Packs. Okay. So if you uh, don't like the wings that um, comes already, it's like uh, two different wings that comes with this one. Um, you have this one right here and it comes with this one so when it comes with two wings with the add-on wing pack okay so if you wanted more different uh, retextures for your wings then you would come and download this one right here which is the demon and angel wings retexture pack this one is also created by silk team uh, when you get down here read the full description and come here where it says current whichever one is the current um, it's for right now um, this one that says uh, 1.0 is the current but I will say whichever one is the latest release go ahead and install that one if it's available okay so whichever one is the current one go ahead and select the green arrow to download and as for the demon angel mod as well read the full description after you have uh, downloaded these two links that are in the, the pinned comment Read the full description and come up here where it says V3 current or whichever one is the current at the time you're downloading and select the green arrow to download. Once you have all three of these downloaded, you will also need Open 4. We will not be installing Open 4, but I will leave a link to a video down in the description showing you how to install Open 4 if you don't have it already. So once you have your requirements, which is Open 4 installed and you have your Demon Angel mod add on wings pack and your demon and angel wings retexture downloaded on my left hand side I have three downloads I have wing script v3 I have wing pack dreadnought then I have the wings retexture pack okay on my right hand side I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory I have all of my requirements installed as well as uh, scriptbook v scriptbook v.net you're gonna need that as well I've got to mention that in the beginning, but I will still leave those links in the description of this video, so make sure you check that out. Once you have all those um, installed, this is what we're going to start off with first is the Ring Wing Script V3. Okay, open up the Wing Script V3 folder. Inside that folder, it is going to be two text documents and two files. We are going to take these two files I've highlighted. And we're going to drag and drop these two right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right. Now that that has been dragged and dropped, let's go back over to our downloads. Press the back arrow button. That'll bring you back here. Now what we want to do is open up the Wing Pack Dreadnought. Okay. Now you will also need um, add-on pads as well. I will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install add-on pads if you don't have it installed already, okay? So now that we are inside of the Wingpack Dreadnought folder, let's go ahead and open up our Open 4. Now that we have our Open 4 opened up, uh, you definitely wanna open up your add-on pads editor you can just simply right click on it and run as administrator but you want to do that 
from your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. So make sure that you open up your add-on page editor. I already have mine opened up right here. Now let's go ahead and open up Open 4. And let's navigate to our add-on page folder. All right. Okay. And go in page.rpf inside of your add-on page folder. And if you're familiar with add-on pads, this is where you install your add-on pads at. And this is where we are going to be installing our wings at, okay? So we have two different options, like I showed you on the download page. These are your options right here. You have this one right here, or this one right here, okay? So the first one is going to be these wings right here. All right, these are going to be the first wings. And in the wings two is going to be the angel wings, pretty much, okay? So go ahead and pick whichever one you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use the, um, use wings one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up wings one. And when you pick whichever wings you wanna use, you wanna highlight all the files inside that folder, except this one, okay? So we wanna highlight everything that I've highlighted, except the configuration file, okay? So let's take these that I've highlighted, drag and drop them right here into the pids.rpf in your open four. Once that has been dropped, let's go ahead and add our wings to our add-on pids editor by copying the name of the wings over here, pit, new pit, paste, pit type. Doesn't matter if it's male or female. You wanna pit false, is streamed, is going to be false. Select add pit, rebuild. Boom, we're all done. All right, now we could um, exit out of our add-on pits editor. We're gonna leave our open four opened up right here. Now let's go back over to our downloads. Let's press the back arrow. Now let's go into our Wings Retexture Pack 2 folder. Okay, open up the Wings Retexture Pack 2 folder. <laughs> a bit of a tongue twister there. Now inside here, we have some different uh, wings right here. Wing Pack 1. It says wings underscore one inside that folder. You're going to have the blue white wings and then you have green dragon wings. OK, um, if we press the back arrow and go inside wings underscore two folder. Then we will have three more different textures. We have the black red wings, hawk wings and the parrot wings. Now, whichever wings that you have chosen, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, which one did I choose? Wings one. Okay, so I'm gonna go in wings one folder since I had chosen the wings one earlier. I'm gonna go in wings one. And let's go with the green dragon wings. I'm gonna go with the green dragon wings, okay? So once we open up that folder of our choice, whichever one we want to um, use the texture from, we are gonna select this YTD file and we're going to drag and drop it over here into our open four. Now what's it going to do is going to replace the YTD that we added in earlier. So if I click on YTD and we should see the color of the file that I selected earlier, which is the green dragon wings. And you can see that they are right here, the texture for the green dragon wings. Now that that has been added inside of our add-on pads, we can select file, close all archives, and now we can minimize our open four. Now this is what we want to do right now, all right? Since we used wings one right here, right? Let's go ahead and select wings one from the same file that, well, the same texture that we used. We're going to go ahead and copy that name for Wings 1 because that's the Wings 1 that I had installed in add-on PEDS. So once I have that name copied, let's go back over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, scroll down and look for Wings um, Configuration Settings. Okay, it's just going to say Wings Configuration Settings. So click on that. Once that is open, 
what you want to do is look for model name self and model name flying pit for self you want to go ahead and replace over the AC chicken hawk and you want to copy over that and replace it with wings underscore one whichever wings you have used whether it's one or two you definitely want to replace the AC chicken hawk with the pair of wings that you have installed okay so I have wings one installed you also could um, use wings for the flying pad um, if you wanted a pad around flying and you could go also go ahead and replace the AC chicken hawk with the wings that you have installed as well so what I did was uh, I went ahead and I replaced the AC chicken hawk for self and flying pad and I put wings one those are the wings that I have installed next down um, you have to spawn or attack PTFX this is um, I take it um, you can change it from heavenly blessed or demonic hell as you can see right here the style is already on heavenly blessed I want to put it on uh, demonic hell you can put it on whatever you like I'll go ahead and copy this and just put it down over just like that all right now that you have made your changes go ahead and select save save and uh, close that up all right now let's go back over to our downloads press the back arrow back arrow again and back arrow again now we want to go back into our wing pack dreadnought okay open up the wing pack dreadnought and you want to go ahead in the same folder that you had chose earlier whichever wings you had chose i chose wings one so you want to go inside and we want to take the configuration settings inside wings one folder drag and drop that right here into our grand theft auto 5 directory so you should see it right underneath the wings configuration settings that we had just configured you will now see wings underscore one configuration settings once that has been set, we are all good to go. Um, now from this point, we can go ahead and minimize any other windows we might have open and run the game. All right, once you spawn into the game, what you wanna do is um, you can either go ahead and use um, your Franklin, Michael, or Trevor, use any one of the three protagonists, or you could go ahead and use an add-on pit. I'm going to use an add-on pad. I have uh, spawn, so that's what I'm using right here. I'm going to use spawn right now. And in order to open up the menu, you want to press F10. Press F10. This little window will open up. What you want to do is use the arrow keys to navigate through the menu, and then press Enter on animated wings. Disabled. You want to make that enabled. So press Enter to enable the animated wings. Then after you do that, you can go down, um, you can just exit out of it by pressing escape or pressing the back space key, should I say, press the back space key to exit out of it. If you want to spawn your wings, then press G on the keyboard. Pressing G on the keyboard will spawn the wings. And from this point, I'm using the controller. But if you would like the um, the keys for the keyboard, then you want to go to uh, the download page. Read the download page, and instructions are also inside the README of the script. Okay, for all of the people that use keyboards, I'm using a controller right now, so um, I could briefly go over my controller buttons. For me, using my uh, Xbox controller, when I press X, the jump key, the jump key allows me to start flying. Now, if I want to rise, I will press the A key on my uh, controller, and that will push me up. Now, if I want to fly um, ahead of me, I would hold on to the right trigger. The right trigger on the right side is the right trigger key underneath the right shoulder key. That will let me go ahead and uh, fly around like I am now. And if I want to stop flying, I would just release the, the right trigger key. Now let's go ahead and go back down to this police and I can show you some of the superpowers that he has as well. Alright, I guess we gotta wait till the cops to show back up. 
but just for example we can grab things also so I'm gonna go over here as you can see my target is on this helicopter right here if I press uh, zero or B on my controller then I can able to grab um, whatever that I'm targeting so I grab this helicopter right here if I press the same key which is uh, B then I will be able to throw the object that I just picked up so as you can see we threw it and it's back on my target so I can pick it up again and then I could destroy it all right we see some more down here we'll go grab this car all right and just raise up I can raise up all the way as high as I want with the car and I can throw it at them all right get my target come and get their car come over here throw it at him I can pick him up in the air take him with me <laughs> throw him around bye bye oh wow Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely recommend installing the uh, dismemberment with this. That way you can see all the pits uh, blow up in half and all the things of that type of nature, man. It's definitely a uh, definitely an enhancer to this right here, man. Oh, there we go. And you also have uh, your high your eye beams. You have these little powers right here, where we could throw fireballs at uh, at our targets. Right now I'm throwing fireballs right now with uh, I'm holding the left shoulder button on the controller. Just holding it and then releasing it allows me to throw these fireballs at wherever I'm targeting. And I can also use um, my, uh, what is it like, um, a beam? Shoot beam from your eyes. Let me stop flying real quick. There we go. Let me go down a little bit so you can see the beam real good. Okay, so by pressing the left trigger, then you can use a beam. It's kind of hard to see it right now because my wings are flying. <laughs> but you can see the beam. Alright. There we go. Alright. Go ahead with the beam. There we go. So you also have the beam, like I said, just use... Uh, the left trigger that will be the button under your left shoulder but on the on the controller there we go see look at this guy he took off his leg with the beam wow <laughs> definitely got to use this man and if you're running towards somebody and press the fly key you will go really fast and just go right through them like this <laughs> But also, it's also good for running through cars. There you go. Go up. So this uh, script also has a um, couple of things that you can modify as well. So that's it for me, folks. I'm going to go ahead and end our tutorial right here. But if this helps y'all out to install the animated wings and get working, Go ahead and smash that like button for me, and uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with y'all friends that are in a modding GTA 5, y'all. This is Games and Graphics. Me and uh, Spawn. We are out of here till next time, y'all. Yeah. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.